balance this question to my clients how you want your dream home to be the typical answer that i am going to get is it should be secure it should be convenient spacious luxurious peaceful and so on we as a technology company dedicated ourselves to provide a smart living solution which is safe secure savings with energy product for your utmost convenience and express your lifestyle happy morning i am dr rn sudhakar technopreneur and ceo with ebsl automatic private limited ebsl stands for empowering business and smart living we are into the dedicated business of providing smart living solution through home automation i am glad to take you through our experience center this is a setup which is meant to give you an experience of the entire room whether you live in an apartment independent house villa or bungalow the various spaces of any home includes the outside area living room dining room kitchen puja bedroom and so on i shall be showing you the operations of the various smart devices which includes digital door lock video door phone individual alarm system lighting control motorization multi room audio and so on which can be controlled through the devices like keypad touch panels smartphone tab and voice control the major advantage of the home automation is scheduling and seals which i shall be explaining you in detail a keyless entry to your residence when you have to get into the home you don't have to bell or you have to wait for somebody as you have got an authorization to enter you can enter through this digital door lock access there are many ways that you can operate your door so one is that when you are there and if you have a, a simple fingerprint without any manual intervention the system will be able to open it for you so it has recognized and it has opened the door for us so the other option that we can check in order to operate the door lock is we have a passcode the passcode is the number it's like a pin in which we can program as per the individuals like uh, in a residence there will be multiple people right from parents and uh, kids homeowners and others so they can just use the key passcode by just specifically pressing the particular code whatever it is uh, in fact uh, this has a special feature so though the number was quite evident that i was uh, you know dialing in so there is a possibility of the somebody next to them to watch what is being keyed in in such cases there is something called as a scramble code the scramble code is an option so that we can type whatever the number we want and in between if you give the actual number the system will be able to take up with this way there is a there is no breach of security if somebody is trying to watch or if somebody forces somebody to type the key you can still breach them so apart from this this also can be operated through a magnetic card or even we can operate it through a typical door lock so there is a option for us to operate uh, that as well in any way like uh, this all if we are physically present we can do but still if you are traveling and if you are outside and if you have a guest somewhere at the entrance so then there is a option for you to operate from your mobile network from any part of the world so provided you have internet in the place that you are there and at the same time even at the residence there should be an internet with this we should be able to operate it let me give you a demonstration of that i can operate this digital door lock to the security point of view if i want if i can just press a click of a button the system will open it for me if you see it was a completely keyless entry which i got an access now that we got a door access so now once we enter the system will just operate a basic lighting uh, for us based on the programming so the moment i am entering in i just get an access of a welcome mode and now i can just operate the other scenario over here and uh, i do have a keypad or a touch panel in which i just press uh, i home button over here so this will set up the entire room for my entry so this is the kind of uh, the working environment lighting that gets created so this is the experience center in which we are going to run through for you so if you see this experience center is uh, divided into various parts so few of those includes living area like complete uh, living room concept which will be explaining you and uh, the bedroom area so where uh, the complete story and concepts will be given
and uh, dining area. So we do have uh, a small uh, kitchen uh, demonstration. and a, a small puja room concept. Okay, uh, let's start with the bedroom concept. If you see, this is a four button uh, micro touch scenario switch. So there are four buttons. I'll just show you a bedroom concept like how an automation can help. As I mentioned about the scenario, scenario is the kind of uh, scene which is all linked together to make or create a scene. For example, if I'm coming to this space, a single click called as welcome just uh, lights on this particular light. And what are the applications we may have in the bedroom is that uh, apart from that you are in, so you may look for a reading. So there will be an illumination set as per the reading setup. And so there are some other uh, ways like it can be a relaxed mode. And uh, instead of having each and every light button to switch on or off, we have this scenario which can run as per a requirement. It's just a long press like this, if I just say good morning mode. So what it does, it turns off the lights and it will just turn on the light as need basis and it opens up the curtain and if you see what you saw here is called as a uh, roller blind. And the same way if I just do a good night mode in a single click, uh, it just sets up the entire scenario. Here you can see how the, the curtain is getting closed and a, a special uh, co-lighting is being uh, on over here. So these are some of the application of it and say for example now I am completely done with the day and I am getting into a, a sleep mode. So there is a, another small button which uh, no, a long press which says the entire light goes off, a cutting light is off or a bed lamp whatever we set, the system can take up as well that. And in case if I am uh, leaving this space, a single button over here is good. So this is the uh, light which just says that I am going out of the room, in which case this light will be there for few seconds based on the timing that we have set and then it is going to turn off. So now in the bedroom concept, so let me just give you a story. To get up in the morning, we usually use a basic alarm clock which we use in our mobile and we wake up. In automation, the sequence that you can set is of your choice. You can wake up with a particular music of your choice or why don't we start like this? You can wake up with the light dimming up slightly for you and maybe this is somewhere at uh, 6.30 and uh, gradually it will increase up to say at 7 o'clock uh, with much brighter way so that you will be made to wake up with the light as an option one. We can also get up apart from uh, just looking from the lighting is also based on the sunrise so wherein the direct sunlight can get in. So maybe somewhere around 6.30 the system will be able to open up slightly at this prayer space and it will wait for you to wake up and uh, if it's not going to happen it will see to that it will furthermore disturb you in a very gracious way for you to wake up and then it's all set for you. So this is a blind which will also do its duty. So now till now uh, whatever we did was through the keypad we did a various options. And now let me show you through the tab. This is what uh, some of the scenes that was created for a bedroom. If you see, this is the welcome scene. And uh, this is say a reading mode. And uh, this was a relaxed mode. And this was the good morning mode. So where it uh, opens up the curtain for me. And these are the kind of uh, scenes. There is no limit for any number of scenes that we can create. The application opens up for any number of scenes and combinations you want. Say something like a, a night mode if I set up. So this is the kind of scenes which happens. Earlier what we did was through the keypad. Now we are doing it through the tab. And when I say like just say away mode as I mentioned it will just uh, turn on the lights and uh, once we are out the light is going to be off. Let's start with the micro touch. So this is a touch uh, on which it happens, it's just a glass plate, this you would have typically seen like uh, no screen light of uh, lightings in which you would have seen this. You can see there's a pale uh, light over here, it's just even in the dark for us to identify it. This also has a multiple thing, one is a long press and short press. So if I just do a short press then it's just turning off the lights and only the puja light is on. So when we turn on this entire light, uh, the system is going to change according to that. 
So here I'm going to show you the kind of keypads. Uh, we call this typically this kind of things as a keypads, where we can engrave on this uh, the names and all. In a single click, when I come in, I can just press say a welcome mode. The light will set according to that, or I can just have it as a, a working mode. And uh, if I'm going out in a single click, I can just turn on as a you know, away mode. Okay, so these are the various ways on which I can uh, do it. So let me come to the interesting part of this uh, automation, which is the touch panel. So if you see, it, it gives me the kind of temperature that's uh, outside as well as the setup in the uh, uh, residence. A single click as home, it will set up the entire home as per our requirement. That includes the AC car on and the entire temperature that goes on accordingly. So this has various things. So let me talk about the lighting part. As we just uh, touched based on living room, so living room, I can do two things. One is I can see the kind of buttons that I have. I can turn on particular things as need basis, or I can directly go to the living scenes and I can turn on the particular living. So here the living scenes are like say welcome. So here there is a guest mode or it can be like a, a day mode or a night mode, say relax mode, a party mode. So these are the various things uh, on which it is being set up. Okay, so this is what uh, the touch panel can do for us and touch panel is much beyond uh, lighting controls. It has a security, it has a temperature, it has a AC control, it has a media control and uh, we have a camera options where we can see the kind of cameras that we have. We can see the full screen mode. You know, we have various options for us to look at it. So these are some of the things uh, you know, what we are able to see now. So here is a small uh, puja room concept, typically we use uh, some general lights. This also can be scheduled like a particular timing, this can go on or the lighting can be dimmable based or it can be a red, green, blue, white lights. So various kind of lights can be set up over here. So the same way like even in kitchen, so some of the lights like uh, normal lights uh, to turn on or it can be an exhaust fan light or like this uh, various things which can be set up for this. So here we are just showing typically on and off of uh, a lighting. Look at uh, the dining area. So in a typical dining area setup what we will have at the time of dining we can just have this as kind of uh, mild light or this kind of special light focusing on the, you know, the dining experience or it can be a completely focused like on the track light. It just gives an ambience or the, for the lighting that we are going to set up. Here we are in a living room concept. So the lights are very gentle as of now. So we have an option to turn on the specific lights as per the requirement. So let me show you some uh, interesting lighting dimmer that we have the chandelier. So this just starts uh, with a minimum illumination as need basis. It can gradually increase and it can go to the full illumination which can give this uh, ambience. And we have uh, other lighting which can set up as per our requirement. So if you see what are the lights that we have to do, so there are various lights which I can operate on a manual basis. So this entire living room is based on the spotlight and the co lights, which is giving this entire ambience. So now the living room is uh, lit with this. This is a typical way of switching on any light on, off and so on. So. But if I have to just look into the kind of the scenario concept uh, that I was uh, explaining earlier, so we have various operations that we can do in a living room. So let's explore some of the interesting feature of home automation. When we talk about home automation, that means the home which can talk to you or you can talk to your home to do what it is. Let me introduce to the voice control feature of it. Alexa, turn on TV. Okay. Each and every scenario is completely customized as per our requirement. So if you see here, we turned off, uh, it turned off the lights and then it was able to switch on the TV and the entire lighting ambience was set as per the requirement. Yeah, the TV mode uh, as it is uh, turned on, we can choose a selective channel as per our requirement. We don't have to use any remote, uh, our smartphone can uh, do this activity. So if I want to turn it off, I can give the voice command as well. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. So it turned off uh, for us. 
and whatever the more that we would have set uh, for us to get it back it will uh, come back to that okay. let's explore some more uh, voice command alexa turn on water body okay so this is a special uh, lighting uh, scenario control uh, where in here we are also operating uh, some uh, additional electrical or electronic devices uh, in this case we are operating a water body you can see how it is uh, happening so this way we can also schedule this kind of water body at its particular time and it will go on and off uh, after that if you see the focus was completely there on this water body the lighting and every setting is done as per that so here is a, a universal remote so if you see this a a small and handy remote which we are used for ages so instead of using the keypad touch panel voice control and many other thing this goes very handy for anybody to use or operate their entire home if you see there's a icons which shows like uh, all lights off all lights on let me just do it for you a simple operation like this say all lights off so it will turn off the lights as it is set and the same thing which i just uh, do with this all lights on it can it will just turn on the lights as per that so uh, focus back on the same remote if you see there are icons like uh, cloud and uh, sun icon which just denote for like good morning or good night so let me just operate a good morning mode so this is a good morning mode in this mode if you see uh, the lights are only limited as need basis and this is a curtain which is like a vertical curtain which just opened up it sets up as per the ambience as needed for an a day mode same way if i have to just uh, set it back to good night mode uh, with this icon so the good night mode will just do the reverse of it it will turn on the lights because we need uh, more illumination during the night and also the curtain goes closed so we have both sheer curtain and uh, dark curtain this all completely set as per need and this remote is not just uh, limited to turning on the lights if you see there are various numbers over here these are some of the scenes that we can set accordingly and it will do the specific scene that we would have programmed according to the requirement so i have the some security features that i would have created and you can see the climate like uh, you can bring the entire your remote of uh, say here we have a ac of uh, panasonic we are just set up as per this and this is just uh, as a demo but we can do much beyond this and uh, whatever the lighting you saw I can operate the entire lighting of my home. So if you see, uh, you can see the kind of spaces that I have. I have a living, bedroom, living scenes, uh, dining, puja, kitchen, all the names that I have given, it's all being here. So now if I want to operate any of those things, it's easy. So now let's get into the scenes. So if I go to living scenes, so these are the names that I have. I happen to show you about the bedroom scenes. Now here it is a live demonstration for you. In living room, what else we can do? We can have it's a welcome, guest mode, day mode, night mode, TV mode, a relax mode, or you know, various other mode. So a simple uh, relax mode, just uh, let me put, uh, so this is a kind of relax mode. Or if I just say party mode, so the system turns on the lighting as per the party mode. Or it can be a, a something like a guest mode. It will turn on the light or the ambience that I have set accordingly. So these all are uh, something which uh, a scenario, it's a pre-program which works. But if you want to have a control of each and every light of your home, here we have the option. You can go to any simple light and you can turn on, see now I'm just turning on and turning off the TV spotlight, which you can straight away see. And you know, there are various lights that I'm just uh, trying to turn on, turn off. So I have the option, this is the green line which just says whether it's on or off. So this way I have a control of each and every page or every scene of my home or every devices I can have a control of it. So apart from this, what else uh, our home automation can provide you? It can provide you a multi-room audio system. In fact, uh, we have a very uh, distributed multi-room audio system. What exactly this means? Depending on the zone, I can turn on the uh, speakers on or off and I can choose the source for it. The source can be from anything, it can be from uh, a voice control, it can be from a TV, it can be from a pen drive, it can be from YouTube, it can be from uh, Ghana, Wink or any uh, 
mobile devices which it will play so what i have to do is i have to just uh, select the source here you can see the kind of source that i have given the system will take and it will just play the speakers so we do have uh, different speakers if you see i have uh, a ceiling speaker and uh, i do have uh, an invisible speaker if you see this speaker uh, which is invisible is plastered over here the speaker is inside this so we are not showing you the kind of uh, sound and if you see there is a corner audio also so the corner audio is something like a wall mountable fixture which just fixes in continuation of the kind of cameras that we can operate uh, the entire display can become our uh, video screen in which we are seeing so it can go to the full screen mode it also has got a IR mode that means uh, it can play as per our requirement or uh, there are uh, different cameras through which I can uh, uh, just completely take out so this is just uh, to give a demonstration how your TV can act as uh, your various uh, control devices so this is about it and there are many other features like we have a pool control we have a messaging system all the notification the system will throw for us as per the requirement as I mentioned we will go more detail in uh, coming video as security is a bigger subject and media is a bigger subject we will uh, you know, get into more details in the coming videos so now uh, this is the uh, power of an automation even this in uh, aged parents uh, can also use this very easily and comfortably and in fact our customers have given a very good feedback of using such kind of simple remote to control their day-to-day -day activities has really increased their productivity. So we saw uh, various ways of controlling. Let me just give a quick uh, demonstration through the smart device. So here is a smart device on which I can see this app. So I have the same features which I can uh, go back. So we operated from the tab and now here we are with uh, uh, iPhone on which we can control the same easy user interface. In fact, I can change the skins as per my requirement as well. So these are some of the features which uh, I'm just trying to give you an idea of uh, how to operate uh, the various things. So let me just uh, put on to some scenes. Say, okay, let me just put it to a party mode and uh, this is how it goes. So this uh, creates uh, good illumination, come back to the guest mode, uh, this sounds good, yeah. Let me also show you some more features. Some of the interesting feature of uh, a lighting control, what we saw was the basic lighting on off dimming. Here is something called red, green, blue, white uh, combination light. So depending on the color that I chose, so you can see the lighting that just goes on as per the requirement so I can go on this huge palette so this palette uh, where I can uh, know, increase the brightness I can choose the color of my choice I also use it like a security lighting in case of some intrusion happen the system can also alert you like this so where the light can give us the alert that something wrong has happened assuming you are in a home theater and if there is some fire or others you may not be able to listen to the alarm. In that case, the lighting can give this message. Apart from this, this also acts like a typical mood lighting. So it's something like a rainbow color or it can be a fire uh, place or many things. You can create your own scenes as per requirement. These are some of the small features which makes your home smart, not just with uh, controls, but with also the ambience which makes or reflects your lifestyle. Let me demonstrate to you how your smart device can act as your universal remote. If you see, I have taken the entire temperature uh, control over here. So this is just to give a, a basic demonstration. Uh, here I have a Panasonic air condition. So right now it is set to 18 degrees. So if I have to just uh, change it to 20 degrees, so you can just see how the system is uh, you know, changing to that. So let me also increase it uh, gradually, say 24. So let me bring it to 18. And 16 you can see it's uh, quite uh, instant and I can change the fan mode I can change the air swing so all these things happens instantly or if I want to turn off or turn on everything goes uh, very well as per our definition so these are some of the features an air condition can provide 
me show you some of the interesting feature of intrusion alarm system because this is a feature when I say R uh, at the time of night the entire sensors goes active in this situation if any intrusion happens if somebody tries to open the door or break the glass or there is a movement then what happens the system will be able to give us an alert so I just got uh, an intrusion alarm sensor over here so in this case uh, you can just see there is an intrusion that has just happened so the system will be able to send us an alert immediately in this case if you can see there is an alert that is going on even if I am travelling anywhere I get this alert it's not just limited to the mobile it comes also intrusion as well so now if I want to disarm I can do this by pressing this and giving the passcode and entering it so intrusion alarm system is quite uh, important feature of an automation because it's something like precaution it helps you not only when you are at home even when you are traveling this will be very handy to take care of your 24 bar 7 federal is kind of a program in which we can schedule particular timing of lighting for example, the auto lights at a particular time it can go on and off and uh, without any manual intervention the system will be able to take care of it. So the demonstration for the scheduled based light, some lights like for example the staircase lights will go on at particular time and coming to the compound lights wherein uh, based on the outside lighting the system will take a call accordingly. Say for example around 6.30 when it is dark. So the, the compound lights will go with this intensity, so which will start with this and as it uh, the darkness increases the brightness also gets increased here to match it and when it is completely dark say around 7 o'clock the light will be completely off and uh, as per our program maybe around 8 o'clock it will come down and then maybe around 9 o'clock uh, certain lights will be off and all this all lights will be programmed in such a way that it's not goes uh, in a single group and uh, maybe some lights in the morning can be there and uh, some lights can also turn off when it is uh, completely late night the demonstration of video door phone so if anyone uh, presses the bell it just uh, shows me if anybody is there i can just operate it from here uh, here we have just made it as a blank uh, image and I can just uh, open the door right from here and uh, this is a kind of convenience for uh, you know, homemaker right from the kitchen they can operate or they can just turn off or you can also use it like a typical camera by just pressing uh, this one it just shows like a still image of it and uh, other small important features minute things that we take care is kind of Wi-Fi access point so this is the access point uh, which uh, boosts the signal for the entire floor so we also give a complete solution to make sure the entire room is automated and Wi-Fi plays an important role. We give this complete solution. So this is the access point which looks aesthetically good as well. With this demonstration, you would have got an experience of a smart home which is safe, secure, savings and convenience. I'd like to end this with a quote. Smart home is no more an option. It is a need of an hour. I would like to wish you a very happy and smart living. Thank you very much.